Oh, John. Uh, how do we go at the hay? Not great, to be fair, Archie. The uh, smaller field wasn't dry enough, so we've ended up with grass. Uh, oh, uh, uh, would would I want them? Well, I can't see why. His sheep will be out now, and he's got that lot that we sold him the other week. Oh. Look, I think the best thing to do is for me to load those grass bales up onto the trailer, and then we'll just stick them in the barn for now. Uh, okay, okay. So who's the hay for, then? Well, well, that has to go down to the horsey people. Right, okay. Well, I'll do that first and get that down to them. Yes, uh, well, uh, yes, um, we have a skippy thingy coming today for the scrap. Oh, okay. Well, I'll be about, so I'll keep an eye out for it then. Yes, yes, very good. Well, there we have it. Our illustrious leader has spoken. The hay is due to go to the horsey people, and the skippy thing is coming for the scrap. Anyway, welcome back to another episode down here at Meadow Grove. So, as you've heard, we have our orders, so we better get our finger out. Let's take this little gem of a tractor and we'll load up the trailer and then we'll head over to the field. So we've got a few things that we've got to get prepared for. Um, we've got to get ourselves sorted for the up and coming auction which I'm surprised he never actually mentioned, but anyway. Yeah, so we need to get all the machinery that's going to be sold um, cleaned up and ready to go down to the auctioneers. So that's going to be happening in the next couple of days. But um, obviously he's going to need to get rid of those grass bales because um, if you don't, we ain't going to have no way of transporting them. Either that or I'm going to have to unload them into the shed. And uh, whoever buys them will have to come and pick them up. But, um, let's just negotiate this little bit here. Stupid gates. Built for little tractors. Little, little tractors. Come on. Like a... Like a piece of cotton through a needle. Threaded it through. Right, so... It's, uh, we'll get, we'll do the hay first, because obviously we've got to get rid of that, so we'll get the hay loaded up, and, um, and then we'll take that down to the horsey people, he is such a problem, I think he spent far too long living in London. Funny because his dad was so, so farmer. He was such a farmer. <laughs> but uh, anyway, I suppose they can't all be the same. So we've not had any news on whether there's been any interest in a dairy yet. But to be fair, the signs only went up. Uh, a couple of days ago, so... I'm not sure what it's actually selling for. I'm not sure what the... Uh, what the asking price is. I'll have to find out. 
I'd imagine it would be quite a bit, especially if he wants to use the money to fund this housing project. Which, um, which is interesting because he's not even applied for planning permission, as far as I know, anyway. There's been um, no signs gone up to say that planning has been applied for. So I, I suppose really we'll have to um, have to wait and see on that side of it. Uh, so yeah. Anyway, let's uh, pop these on here. Nice and gently. Just. Stay on the trailer, will you? There we go. Excellent. Right. Let's get on with it. Wrap them on there. One, two, three, four. That'll do. Don't think I'm bothered that much. So, yeah. Um, Not really got much coming up now. Everything farmy is starting to dwindle away with with us anyway, so I'm um we go there, yeah. Oh plug in. So yeah, uh like I was saying, uh not much farmy stuff coming up now. We're gonna have to clean the machinery, get them down to the auctioneers, which is in a few days. Uh, but Mr. Cuthbert is coming to put our sign up, our for sale sign. He's coming today. I don't know what time, but um, yeah. We'll get some more information. Maybe he's uh, spoken to those people that were looking, looking in the area. Oh, it'd be so nice if we can get a quick sale. I'd like to get it all uh, 
done and dusted as quick as possible really I can put that behind me and concentrate on getting more work in which is what we want and then we can start progressing which would be nice I wonder what time this skip's coming I suppose that would be the next thing clearing the yard up I don't think I've brought you guys down here before uh, this is owned by the Tamworths. Very strange bunch. Don't like to say very much. Uh, and they really like horses. But strangely enough, they haven't got any here at the moment. So I don't know what that's all about. Anyway. Um, yeah. When are they going to want them? I don't know. In the shed, I guess. I'll go and find out. Two secs. Right. They want them in the shed on the right here in there. So we'll just manoeuvre about a bit, drop them off and then we'll get going. I ain't gonna bother with showing you the unloading because you know you don't want to see it do you? As much as I don't want to do it. That is them done. So we can get back, get those grass ones loaded up, and um, everything could be hunky dory. Days going by quite quickly, we're going to have to get a move on. Trudge, 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 up the hill we go. Oh, was that a truck in there? Yes, it is. Oh, it's a brand new Scania. Ooh. I like trucks. And it's maroon. Everybody likes a bit of maroon, don't they? I do. Maroon for the win. Right, let's go and see this fella. Hey bud, you want to stick it around the corner? Oh, do I have to? Well, it would be quite helpful if you did. But really? Yeah, it would be helpful. Look, I'll show you where I want it. Yeah. There. Right there. Well, I see. Okay. I suppose. If it's necessary. Well, it's no hardship, is it? Really?
Well, he was a jolly fellow, wasn't he? He reminded me of someone as well. I'm not sure who. Anyway, let's go back in the field, load up some more bales. Magnificent drive in here, John. Magnificent. Getting good at these needles. Maybe. Once I've done it, and there's one, there's two. How convenient! Trudge along back. Do 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 do. Do, 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 do. Nice bit of singing for you, just to keep you entertained. So yeah, we'll get these on. I won't bore you with any more trailer loading. After we've sold all the machinery, I suppose I won't have very much more to do for our team. Well, I've had some time to think. I did some more thinking and then I thought about it and I come to the conclusion that I need to invest in some sprayers or a sprayer and a spreader But then I'm definitely going to need a trailer. So something like something like this, to be fair. Um, hmm, possibly not a grain car. I don't think we're going to need anything that sort of size. But maybe a little kind of taupe trailer or something like that. Um, and then yeah, I was thinking maybe a, a a sprayer would be quite good, and a spreader, and maybe lime spreader. Maybe we could get into lime spreading. I know I could do it for David. I get um I get David as a contract. That would be good. Uh, 
and maybe even maybe even die actually because he's got a few fields and he's got some crops in a couple of them that he uh, he gets David to to harvest so yeah a lime spreader I wonder if this would be man enough for a lime spreader must be must be wouldn't need a particularly big one so yeah bale cart a lime spreader a sprayer if David hasn't got a sprayer either mm. my plan is coming together anyway I'm going to stick this, I'm going to leave the trailer on the back of this. Um, and then we'll call it a day here. And we'll head back home. Well, at least he parked it in here instead of on the side of the road like he did the other day. What a fool. Anyway, let's head home and see what's, uh, what's been going on down there. If there's any news. I like news. Here we are then. Oh, a visitor. Must be Mr. Cuthbert. Must still be here. I see the sign was up there. Let's uh, see what he's got to say. Hello Marjorie. Hello Mr. Cuthbert. So, what news have you got for me today? Well, I've spoken to those people that are interested in the area and they are keen to come and have a look at your house. Ah. Well, that is quite good news. Say, how did you grow that beard so fast? Well, I've had this beard for about 15 years now. Oh, 